Hi guys, today I have a very interesting and funny video, I think. I don't know how this is going to go, but today's video is going to be a collaboration with one of my friends here on YouTube. Her name is Andriana Anthony and her channel name is Andra Anthony, Andra Anthony. I think that's how you say it. I really am so bad with names, so I'm so sorry if I got your name wrong, but she has been a friend of mine now for a while. We've been watching each other's videos and honestly, when I watch her, I feel like I'm watching myself sometimes because I can so relate to so many things that she says and does in her videos. So I think that you guys are really going to like her. I would say that her content is pretty similar to mine, but with a little bit less reviews and more of like the creative kind of content. So I think that you guys should absolutely go check her out. And for today's collab, we kind of went back and forth. We weren't sure what we wanted to do for a while. And where we ended up in the end was that we were both going to send each other some kind of art, like a photo or a painting or anything like that. I'm not really sure what the picture that I chose for her really is. I want to say it's digital art. So in a way it's still art because it's not like a real photo. So I don't know what she has sent me. So I think we should just take a look because I am very curious. I feel like it's going to be something very colorful, but she could also have sabotaged me and done something really funny, so let me pull up the picture real quick. Ooh, that's very interesting. That is not at all what I expected. That's kind of muted, but I like it. So we have some reds and orange, some kind of darkish blue shadows. This could be kind of fun. So I need to pull out some palettes and see what I can come up with here, but I feel like this is going to be a fun look. So when I look at this photo, I'm not really getting any like major shimmery, shiny vibes. I'm kind of getting more like a mysterious matte kind of look. So I don't think I want to pull in anything too sparkly today. <gasps> so I mostly want to work with mattes and I have a couple of palettes that I've pulled out here that I feel like the color stories are going to be similar to the photo. So the first one I have is the Divinity palette by Stroke Cosmetics. And I mostly want to use some of these greens here and probably this blue as well. And I also pulled out two other palettes, and this is the Olimar Cosmetics palette. I really have not used this enough, uh, but I was thinking maybe some of these like reddish, brownish, orangey shades here could be kind of cool to work with. Maybe one of the shimmers, but probably not. And I also have the Certified Destiny palette, which I really, really love. I think this is such a nice kind of grungy fall palette. And I feel like some of these shadows could be nice too, especially the greens. I think some of these ones down here could be fun to work with. So I'm gonna sit down and think about this for a little bit and see if I can come up with something in my head before I start because I kind of want to plan this out before I get started on the eye look. I think I do have a plan, but I'm not sure how well I'll be able to execute it, but I actually pulled in some more shadows here. So this is an empty Z palette that I have with some depotted Natasha Denona shadows. And I thought that this dark blue could be really nice to put in my crease. So I think what I want to do is I want to do a dark blue crease and then I want to fade that into a darker kind of green shade on the bottom, meeting it up with an orange that I wrap around and do a cut crease and then do like red and orange on the cut crease or something like that. And then I think I want to do like a dark brown lip, but I'm not really sure. So I think I just want to get started and start putting on some shadows and just see where we end up. So I'm first going to take this dark blue shade that I just mentioned right here, and I'm going to put that into my crease. I'm not sure if I want to use something to blend this out with, but I will see how pigmented this is and how it's looking when I get it on my eye. So I've already primed with my MAC Paint Pot, and now I'm just going to pack this onto my outer corner. And I'm using a small little Luxie blending brush to do this with. I'm also going to start pulling it in. I already know this look is going to be all over the place, but what I want to do next is I want to take my Certify palette and I'm going to take this dark green shade and I'm going to put that on the outer part of my lower lash line. gently blending it into the blue as well. So next, I'm not really sure if I'm going to regret this or not, but I'm going to dip into the same palette. I'm going to take Moss, which is this lighter of the green shades, and this is more of a grungy kind of green. And I'm taking this on a very, very small fluffy brush, and I'm going to run that right above where I put down that blue and sort of use this green to blend this out.
I love how all these colors are just seamlessly blending into each other. I think I want to take a bit more of that dark blue now and just bring this back a tiny bit. I feel like I lost a bit of the blue when I put on all that green. So I'm just placing more of this into my outer corner. I'm liking how this is looking now and I think what I want to do next is I want to cut my crease because like I said I do want to go in with all mattes today and I'll be using my POE space because I realized that my Too Faced Born This Way concealer is just not that good for cut creases, at least for me anyway, and I don't like the POE space for priming. I have made a video on that so if you want to see it I will link it up in the corner but this doesn't really work for me as a primer. Maybe I'm using it wrong, I'm not really sure but I'm going to try this for cutting my crease today and hopefully I'll be able to get these mattes to look nice and smooth on top of it. And I'm just going to do a half cut crease, so I'm first just taking this brush, it's a Morphe M1... M142 brush. So I'm using my Morphe M14... I just said that wrong like 30 times. So I'm using my Morphe M421 brush. And I'm just lining the upper lash line about halfway across, as if I'm doing a very thick eyeliner, and then I look up, and I can see very clearly where I need to cut my crease and I'm also going to leave it opening in the inner corner so that I can wrap it around down to my lower lash line so I am cutting it a bit higher up here and when I get to where I want this to stop I'm taking my finger and I'm tapping over so that I get rid of a little bit of the excess product so the tricky part now when you cut your crease and you have a primer that creases is to make sure that you tap out the creases before going in with shadows, especially when you're using all mattes. So I'm dipping into my Divinity palette now by Stroke Cosmetics and I'm going to take Freya or Freya and I'm going to try to blend that into the blue that I have here on the outer part where I cut my crease. And I'm going to use a very small brush and this is my Morphe M149 and I'm just going to pack this on at first. And then I'm going to try to gently blend it into the blue. I might have to go in with a bit more blue after, but it's actually blending pretty nicely. And just to make it easier to blend in the next color that I'm putting next to it, I'm making sure that the edges here are sort of blended out and diffused. I love doing videos like this so much where I have to take inspiration from something because I feel like I come up with looks that I normally wouldn't have done and it also sort of makes me play with different techniques like usually I don't do all matte looks but I just felt like that photo kind of called for it and I feel like this is going to be a very chill video I don't feel like I have a lot to say today some days I'm in a mood where I just want to like talk and be funny but today I'm just like I just want to do makeup so I'm so sorry if this is not like a funny video or something maybe I'll do some fun editing and like flip shit around and just try to make you laugh for no reason but you know but if I don't have anything fun to say, I'm so, so sorry. Maybe tomorrow's video is going to be better. I don't know. I'm just going to take a quick look at the photo again and see where I'm heading with this. So it looks like I really like the blues and the greens that I have down. I feel like they're very representative of the colors in the photo. So I guess next up, I want to go in with like a kind of warm, dark red shade and put that right next to where I just put down this uh, dark maroon shade. Is it a maroon? Is it a brown? Who knows? And I think I want to use Sixth Sense in my Certify palette. So I'm gonna go in with this one with the same brush and do the same thing. And if you wanna see more looks with the Certify palette, I did do a three looks, one palette with that. And I think all the looks came out really good. So I will link that in the corner for you. This is one of those palettes where what you see in the pan isn't actually what turns up to be on your eyes because in a pan, the shadow looks so much darker and not as vibrant. But when you put it on the eye, it's basically a pure red. And I actually like the P.L.O.V. space for cut creases. I think this is looking so nicely on top of this. I think for the last shade, I'm gonna go back into, actually, did I even use this? The Alamar palette? I don't think I've used this yet, but I'm gonna take this Coco Taxi shade, which is a beautiful kind of mustardy orange, and I'm gonna put that on the rest of my lid and also wrap it down and meet it up with the green on the lower lash line. And I think that's going to be it for shadows.
I don't know if you can hear a breathing sound outside of my door, but it sounds like my husband just took our dogs to the park and he's breathing so heavily. He's like, <laughs> he's so funny. Like he'll be doing that for the next 20 minutes now. Clearly his cardio is not the best. I do really feel like the inner corner needs just a little bit of something. So I'm going to take tonic also in the certified palette. This is just a very light kind of shimmery gold. It's not super reflective or super glittery or shimmery or anything. It's just very subtle, but I think that's going to look nice with this look. And I'm still just using the same brush. I'm just going to tap that right in my tear duct. Just to lighten this up a bit, I think that looks better. I do want to bring back a bit more blue into this look. I feel like I kind of lost it. So I'm going to use my Urban Decay pencil in Ultraviolet, which is a kind of warm toned blue. I do wish I had a blue that was more similar to the colors in the photo, but I really don't somehow. So maybe that's something I need to pick up. But first I need to sharpen this because otherwise I would never get anything out of it. <laughs> My husband just texted me and asked how much longer I was going to be filming because he wants to shower. And last time I complained because he showered while I was filming. So at least he's listening. I think this is it for eyes. I'm going to put on some liner and mascara, of course, as always, and then I'll come back and we can find some sort of a brown, maybe lipstick to put with this. I think that could look kind of cool. Before I put on lipstick, I totally forgot to highlight because I thought I would do it together with you guys because I didn't know what kind of look I was going for. So I'm going to take my Dior highlighting palette, of course, of course, of course, because I freaking love this thing. And I'm going to use the gold shade. Like, I do not think I could ever get sick of this highlighting palette. I just think it's so stunning. It goes on so smoothly. It's not super intense, but I like that about it. It's very buildable. I feel like it looks good on my skin tone. It doesn't leave a cast or anything like that. It just looks very nice. Okay, we are highlighted. For lipstick, I'm going to use one that I have not yet used on my channel. I'm pretty sure this is one that I got at IMATS and it's from Pinky Rose. This is a kind of, I don't know how to explain this, but I really like the shade of brown. So it's kind of like a cool tone chocolate brown. I don't know, but I really, really like this. I like the formula on this a lot too. And I think this is going to be the completed look. Now, if it was up to me and it didn't have anything to do with the photo, I think the only change that I would make to this was I would do a glitter line like right in my cut crease here. I think that would look really good and it would make the transition between the matte shades a little bit better, but I still like how this came out and I don't want to do that because I don't feel like that has anything to do with the photo and the inspiration of this look. So yeah, I am really happy with how this turned out. Let me know down below if you would have done anything different with the colors that I have and maybe what you would have done. What was the first thing that came to your mind when you saw the picture? I would love to know because there are so many different possibilities for what you could have done with these colors and I feel like anything could have worked because these colors work really nicely together. So thank you so much to Andra for sending me this picture. I think this was so fun and I cannot wait to see what you do. And if you guys want to see a funnier video than this one, because I feel like this one might be a little bit tame for what I usually do, go ahead and check out Andra's channel because I think you are really going to enjoy it. I will of course link her up in the eye down in the description box everywhere I can think of. So thank you so much for doing this collab with me. I love you so much and I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye.